Hello, I am Max. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will set up Open Media Vault for booting two very old single board computers. Before we start it, let's walk through what we need to make our single board computer PXE boot successfully. We need a DHCP server that has a record to our TFTP server. Next, we need a TFTP server that serves uh, kernels uh, init RAM FS and uh, DTB. Well, possibly if you're using Raspberry Pi, there are some other stuff as well. But it's all in our TFTP server. And next, we need an NFS server for our server hosting our root file system. And these two can be done in Open Media Vault. For this one, we will be using OpenWRT. Okay. And our op OpenWRT is here. And this is my Open Media Vault server. Uh, this is quite fresh install. And and the, the fresh install has already got NFS server here. So we don't need to install that. But for TFTP server, we need to install a plugin for that. And head to system plugins and search TFTP. And this one. Select it, it's highlighted, and download, install, okay? Okay, TFTP is installed. It's a false refresh. Let's go to services, TFTP. Let's, oh, before we enable our TFTP server, we need to create a share folder. This one, name it TFTP. Okay, this is what we need. This is for our share folders. Let's hit save. And apply our changes. Okay, changes applied. Let's head back to our TFTP. Select our TFTP share folder. And for to make it easier to debug, let's add a uh, options here. Space dash dash verbose. Okay, click on enabled and save. Okay. Applied our changes. Okay, changes applied. Next, we need to configure our NFS server. And same as before, let's create a share folder. This is our drive. And we will call it net boot. Okay, save. And click apply. And next is to add our share folder. Net boot for clients, it will be within this subnet there so that will be 192.168.1.0 is 24 let's hit save first and here oh and save this and let's modify this one for our nfs share that holds 
that hosts our root file systems the extra options will be no root squash async insecure no sub tree check cross mount and permission will be read write okay let's hit save and apply all those changes Okay, that's all the changes we need to make on Open Media Vault. Next, let's SSH into our OpenWRT. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, we need to modify etc config uh, dhcp go to the bottom at a section config boot linux option server address uh, let's set it as static oh i should not editing set static and make it one nine two dot dot one six eight dot one dot two okay save and save so next time our open media vault reboots it will get an IP address of 192.168.1.2 okay let's make our fonts bigger uh, we need to modify etc config dhcp let's go to bottom add a section called config boot linux option server uh, this first would be file name pxe pxe linux dot zero option server address 192.168.1.0.1.2 option server name would be this address 192.168 dot one dot two and to make it compatible with raspberry pi we need to add these two as well okay, which is list dhcp option 209 pxe linux dot cfg default and option force one and that's all we need to make our changes on our network. In next video, I will PXE put uh, Orange Pi Zero. And that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.